So today on Techno Dad Life, we're going to be installing J Downloader, which is a link aggregator and also a downloader. And at the very end of this video, we have a special tip that makes it all much easier. So make sure you stay to the end. Uh, as always, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And today I'm going to be actually down below here in the notes, I'm going to be putting in some websites and things like that, which make it a whole lot easier. So make sure you check out that. And so here we go now. Okay, first we're going to go to Docker, and then we're gonna type in J Downloader. And we're gonna go down to the one that says J Mullen. We're gonna start that. Click close when that's done. And then J Downloader info. And when you do that, you'll see here is the info file for that. We'll need that in a second. Next, we're gonna click run image. And so we're gonna call this J Downloader. And restart policy always host adapter. Next, we're gonna put in our UID and our PID. Okay, so how we find those is we go to shell in the box, type in root and our password. And then simply we type in ID and our user. And for us as user one, hit enter. You can see here UID is 1000, GID is 100, and groups are 100. So let's go back. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link up to the top left and click plus next to each one of those. And now we're gonna do our containers. So the first one is our config file. So we're gonna click on our shares, app data, and then new. And we're just gonna call this J downloader. And we're gonna save that. Go here, go to our shared folders, app data, J downloader, okay. Click the plus, hit the slash again, downloads, and we're gonna go to our shared folders, and downloads, and actually we're gonna click on complete, and okay. Click the plus there, and then save that. Okay, so go to myjdownloader.org, uh, click register if you don't have an account fill out these and then they will email you a registration and then you have to come back to this page and get a password okay once we have our account information from j downloader then we're going to go back to uh, open media vault and we're going to actually go to shell in the box which is our terminal program we're going to click on web clients we're going to log in hit enter and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, configuration page for j downloader here this version we're going to copy this configuration file and so what this is going to do is it's going to put our email address and our password that we just got from J downloader the website into our uh, browser and so what we do there is we just right click paste from browser paste in here and then for this part what you actually put in where it says email you put in your email address and then with no with one space afterwards you put your password so we'll do that now uh, and then hit enter and once we're done with that we can log into J downloader and so I'm going to go down to my J downloader and if you'd like notifications you can allow that and so there we're signed in and so now you can just click on this icon here and that will log you into the server on your computer and now just use it as you normally do and
so a surprise tip for all those who stayed to the end of this video so uh, we had clicked over here before to go to our J downloader but we're gonna go over here to show app and you can see there's actually extensions here for web browsers and so I use the Chrome browser so we're gonna click on that and we're gonna add this to Chrome then we're gonna go over to the extension and add in our username and password of course put in your username and password don't uh, copy exactly what's on the screen here this is your username and password for my J downloader and then when you're done with that click log on so now that we have it downloaded let's go over to this tab where we have nature pictures we're going to click with add to J downloader and then you can see it's added and then it takes a few minutes but then we when we go to J downloader you can see it's been added to the link collection and so then we're able to download it so that's it for today so make sure you like and subscribe and check down below for the list of websites involved and also our patreon page if you'd like to support the channel take care and have a great day